So my, my name is Liu Yongle. I'm going to present my topic, which is Balancing Spectacle and Storytelling in Video Games. So I'm going to start with introduction first. Research problem. How can entertainment designers strike a balance between focusing on great visual spectacles and crafting compelling storytelling to create immersive and engagement with your games experience? Second, research objective. This study will try to explore how game designers could successfully balance spectacle against narrative in games for deep player immersion and engagement. There are two research questions, which is how do game designers achieve a balance between creating visual stunning spectacle and crafting compelling narrative to enhance audience emotional in video games? Second, which is what strategy and technique to game designer and try to integrate visual spectacle and storytelling, ensuring that both elements complement each other to enhance audience immersion and emotional engagement in attended entertainment experience. Second, critical review. <clears throat> My first article, which is, which is, which is, author Benjamin, author Benjamin on the video screen storytelling and game narrative. Charlie A analyzes the way digital games offer new modes of storytelling in terms in burst. Inspired by the work of Walter Benjamin, discuss this project in Walter Benjamin on the video screen, storytelling and games narrative. Later on, she mentioned Dispression Quest and Chart Life, two games in immersed through which it teaches empathy. Correct say, how correct say video games and video games can tell deep narrative, but pointed out that Games format and narrative should complement each other in the various form of video games. There are three strengths in this article, which is broadening possibility by emphasis how video games has expanded storytelling from basic representation to complex interactive narrative. Second, importance of immerse by emphasize the need for full scale immerse to fully engage player and create empathy to understand. Balance of story, balance of story and gameplay acknowledge by acknowledge the challenge of applying Benjamin's idea universally across different games, different, different games zones and if the importance of storytelling. Second article, which is The Art of Storytelling, A Guide to Narrative Design and Visual Storytelling. This paper is focused on how we can understand the reciprocity of design involved being narrative and visuality through articulating their integration for students. It argues for the necessity of storytelling and established establish guidelines in character building thought literary, environmental, authenticity, platform, and go, and go, and, and non -tism and structure thinning. This will expand on this material, making the more sophisticated concept understandable with real-world examples and a lot of details, but it miss an important fact. As the and as the engagement of narratives design which with IC or ID and game design. Although it does offer a lot of good advice, but the books might benefit from exploring more recent trends and ethical consideration regarding narrative designs. There are two strengths in this article, which is clear and grand Mathematical explanation concepts are explained in a memorable manner accessible to people from different design backgrounds. Second, which is resource for expanding creative help designers understand the interaction between narrative and visual elements. Second, which is encourage the application of storytelling method in design practice. 
Third articles, which is the evolution of video games as a storytelling medium and the role of narrative modern games. Writing as Chris Stone did here, the rise of video game as one such, such storytelling platform has been notable for the, its movement towards more interactive narrative and much deeper emotional engagement. So, so the E has a um, great example and a nice historical overview. The book does not go deep enough into how analysis should see narrative as an opportunity for game storytelling or address ways in focusing on story will almost always mean reducing player agency. Store critic who needs further examination of other perspective and how the gameplay machine contextually affect those viewpoints. While it showcases the process made in games, game storytelling over time. Some of those some subjects are decided with a less forgiving hand that ultimately sent home in its miscuted point and does not paint as a clear an image. There are three strengths from this article, which is historical overview, provide an excellent historical background of storytelling, highlight critical milestones. Second, Cooperative analysis discusses how story techniques from other media like film and literature have influenced video game design. Engagement emphasize the deep emotional and narrative engagement of modern video games. Third, research method. My, my survey type which is qualitative and quantitative data collection and I use Google Form to 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 survey and I got 35 response. Survey structure is demographic question to track their age, hours spent on gaming weekly and second is assess the relative importance of visual visual spectacle and storytelling in games. This question measures the importance of visual spectacle and storytelling. So this is my demographic chart and it shows the role of video games and most of them are players and it shows how many years they have played in games. So most of them are 6 to 10 years and this show he show what kind of game they play and how many how many hours they spend weekly in in the games. And the chart, the this this chart is showing the importance of visual spectacle and storytelling storytelling in their enjoyment of video games. Uh, the importance show, showing the importance. This is this is this is the chart showing showing their showing they prefer visual spectacle or storytelling. So how often player field games achieve a balance and how they prioritize different game aspects. And these show the experience from the response. And this is what I get from the feedback. So they they most likely on visual effects that has special special effects in the games, something like realisms. And they need a very compelling and well structured narrative for the games and the storytelling need to be more emotional to let them mem to memory and 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 resonant experience so that's all for me thank you